Miss Rachel is one of the most popular channels on YouTube for babies and young children. Some of her videos have over 100 million views, which is absolutely amazing. Some of the benefits mentioned in the description of these videos are promoting brain growth and development, promoting language development, and teaching parents and caregivers the best ways to play, interact, and promote learning throughout the day. But can babies and toddlers learn how to talk from watching these videos? Let's dive into what the research says. Firstly, research shows that babies and toddlers under the age of two learn language best from interacting directly with people. This is because during these interactions as adults, we adjust the words we use, our eye gaze, our use of gestures and social signals in response to what our babies and toddlers say and do. It's the back and forth interaction between an infant and a caregiver which promotes language development and unfortunately, babies and toddlers do not get that level of engagement or interaction from watching a screen. This was demonstrated in a study which was completed in 2010 where the researchers examined how many new words 12 to 18 month old children actually learn from watching a popular DVD several times a week for four weeks at home. So they divided the participants into four groups. In the first group, the children did not actually watch the DVD at all. Instead, their parents were actually given the list of the 25 target words from the DVD, and they were instructed to use those words in their everyday interactions with their child. In the second group, the parents were actually instructed to watch the DVD with their child in whatever way they would typically do so. And in the third group, the children watched the DVD without the parent being present. And in the fourth group, the child actually received no intervention at all. The findings from this study showed that the children in that first group where the parents actually modeled the 25 target words during those everyday activities learned the most words. And what was really interesting is that the children who watched the DVD with the parents sitting beside them did not do any better than the children who watched the DVD by themselves or the children who were actually in the control group and had no intervention. These results indicate that children under the age of 18 months learn relatively little from infant media. Now these results are really not that surprising given children under the age of 18 months simply do not have the cognitive ability to relate what they see on the screen to what they see in real life. And because of this, it makes it really difficult for them to learn how to talk by simply watching a screen. So to illustrate this difficulty that a child under two experiences, we're just gonna watch a small snippet from Miss Rachel. Now in this video, Miss Rachel is trying to teach the word mama. And she does that by repeating the word mama five times while different photos of mums and babies appear in the corner of the screen. Now for that child to understand and use the word mama, they need to know a few things. Firstly, they need to know that all the women in these photos who look very different are all mamas. They also need to know that a mama is a parent of a child. And then to use that word correctly in their world, they need to know that their mama, who looks very different to all the mamas that were on the screen, is called a mama because she is his or her parent. So as you can see, this is an extremely difficult concept for a baby or a young toddler to grasp, particularly as it isn't until around 18 months that their brain is able to understand that the images or symbols on a screen are representative of things or people that they see and interact with in real life. Now, after the age of two, things change a little. Children at this age begin to understand the symbolic nature of images and photos and can transfer this knowledge from the screen, so the 2D image, to their real life. But for this to happen, research indicates that three important factors need to occur. Firstly, the content of the show or app needs to be specifically designed for their age group and educational. Ideally, the content should reflect the child's everyday experiences as these are actually more relatable for that child. And the content shown should also be paced and logical as it makes it easier for the child to follow. Secondly, the content needs to be interactive and actually encourage the child's participation. So studies have actually shown that media content where the on-screen characters speak directly to the child and then pause to encourage that child to either respond with a gesture or a word can encourage expressive language production and vocabulary. 
So an example of a good show back in my day was Dora the Explorer, where she would talk on screen and then pause and wait for you to respond. And the third key feature, which is actually the most important, is that the caregiver should actually be watching the program with the child while talking to them about what they're watching. So for example, you might ask questions about the show, you may label items on the screen, or you may actually talk about the storyline. When you do these things, you're helping the child actually make a connection between what they see on the screen and their real world, and this can help to facilitate their learning of language. When these three factors are considered, the potential negative effects of screen use are actually mitigated, and there is a positive effect on the child child's language development. Now, while we are on the topic of language development, if you want to know what to expect in regards to your child's communication skills from one to four years of age, make sure you get the free PDF by clicking the link in the description box below. It's also important to note that to further mitigate the potential negative effects of screen use on a child's development, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommend that for children two to five years of age, screen time is actually limited to one hour per day. Now getting your toddler to stop watching a screen can be extremely challenging and tantrums are extremely common. So make sure you watch this video next to learn the easiest way to help your little one transition from a screen to another activity without having a tantrum. And if you've liked this video, make sure you hit that like button as well as subscribe so you don't miss the next one.